It's Corbin. You don't know that song, do you? You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. And Taste buds. <laughs> That's good to say something else. I know. Inappropriate. I know you Inappropriate, are. Corbin. Nice save, Corbin Miles. Thank you. Uh, you can, uh, it was Prince, by the way. For notification all you Squad. Know. Controversy. Bam! Controversy. Today, since you guys know, we are coming to India. We are? Yes. Well, uh, <laughs> you said? No, I was, I was thinking of something funny to say, like I've never been there, but everybody knows I have been there twice. Uh, so but I this, just came back, and I'm going back again. Yes, this is a Indian street food video for Old Delhi, which we will be in, uh, our place is in South Delhi. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to do lots of street videos or food videos. and You're intending to eat a lot of street food, aren't you? I'm intending to eat a lot of food. Uh, we'll see. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I have my handy dandy, um, portable fork. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't, do you? Shut up. Uh, you really do. I'm bringing a portable fork. <laughs> All right, here's, You're such a freaking white American dude. <laughs> here's oh. the thing. I don't mind like hot dogs, tacos. I can eat that. It's, it's when it gets goop on my hand oh. and I can see it and it looks like you've just wiped your ass oh, with no, your hand. I gotta it tell you, it's, it's... Grosses me out. Nope, oh, it's gross. It's Rick, so it's gross. beautiful. Rick, it's gross. Here we go. Ah. Alright, so check it out. It's Trevor James. I'm in Delhi, India. I just got here and we're going for a full-on food tour of all Delhi. I'm so pumped. This is my first time here. There's gonna be so much to try. The Food Ranger. Old Delhi is a food lover's heaven. In one afternoon, you can explore unchanged historical alleyways packed with smells, sounds, and of course, street food. Here, Mughliai cuisine is dominates really and it has for centuries. And just walking through, it's going to leave you breathless and overwhelmed with excitement at the amount of action happening yeah, around jack up your stomach. and eating possibilities. It's all so packed together that you can feast on a lot of delicious food in a short amount of time. Let's eat. Alright, so one of the things I've been looking forward to trying for so long is the paratha. Just in this little famous lane here, Paratha Wali Gali, deep in Old Delhi. Go check it out. Visiting Paratha Wali Gali is a gastronomical experience filled with culinary heritage. You can literally feel the history as you explore this lane dedicated to paratha and street food. The whole wheat paratha bread is stuffed with your choice of filling and fried in a desi ghee clarified butter. With the crackle and sputter of the oil and the smell of spices in the air, you're gonna get hungry for sure. It's served with a sweet and spicy mm. pumpkin mash, a banana chutney, sweet tamarind chutney, and mint chutney. They're to die for. Is this for me? Oh, thank you. Why is everything this is the rabri, which is know. filled with like a sweet and churned milk and fried and purified I guess butter. Longevity, so it won't break, first of all. That makes sense. Looks like a samosa. It did. Mmm. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. It's like churning milk, it's super sweet. A dollar three. Milk. It actually has a nice, healthy whole wheat flavor to it. This is so crazy here. This is so crazy here. We're so deep in the alleyway. I'm just gonna dip it into this mint chutney. Definitely deep street food here. I think it would be hilarious in person. The Wali Wali Gali, it. There's more than just <laughs> classic. You can taste classic Pani Puri. A crunchy little dome pack with sweet and spicy. Can't wait to try it in India. It's the ultimate refreshing spice bomb. Pani puri. This is the pani puri hot spot here. Whoa. Is that a monkey? Or a bird? Oh. So we're gonna try out the famous Indian pani puri sweet and refreshing no. water bomb. For two reasons. Oh, thank you. We've got the pani puri. Oh, the smells here. There's like all this incense coming into the air. And I have, oh, I have mm. a big water, tamarind, sweet, spicy tamarind so water filled with so curry. Mm. Oh yeah, it's like super, super spicy with tamarind. It's sweet and it's crunchy and it just explodes in your mouth. Next up is the famous kachuri with alu sabzi. Here, a beautiful puff that's golden brown and crispy on so the outside is stuffed with a lentil dal or potatoes. 
and then it's hand crushed and covered with a potato curry infused with red chili powder and turmeric. Garnished with coriander and fenugreek leaves, it's out of this world. Look at that. I'm so hungry. Very good. Oh, jeez. Can I please have one tachori? <laughs> sure, why not? You can do whatever you want. Hold on, dude. I got people before you. Potato curry. Oh, my God. With a crunchy chori. Oh. Nice. Oh, thank you. Here, take it. Take it. Oh. Eat it. Don't leave me alone. <laughs> Let's try that out. That looks delicious. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, that is really nice. The potato masala. 52 is really cents. Cool. You can't get a gumball for 52 cents. You know how much a cup of chai is? That it's like 30 cents. Masala is very hearty and tastes quite healthy. Warm how do you make a profit? Parante Wale Alley, insane. A lot of turns. There's so much yeah. to try. Yeah. We're going to go see what else we can so find. A lot of food. That's why he was like, we need to go away. Let's go. Where are you from? Canada. Oh, you're from Canada? Yeah. What's your name? Trevor. Alfred. 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 Nice to meet you. See you, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to try Tola, tola Kichas. Oh. Egg Tola Kichas. Oh. oh, look at this. Oh, it's like frothy oh. milk. Is that? Uh, oh, look like mashed potatoes for a second. Oh yeah. What is that? It's churned all night. Oh yeah. What is that? I don't have any oh. idea. Oh, thank you. It's, oh, it's so frothy, and it's covered in. I think I heard that this here is like crispy sugar, and this is like pecan with saffron. Oh, look how frothy it is. Oh, look at it how- It almost looks like whipped up like egg whites. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's like a pillow. It's like a soft, sweet cloud. <laughs> it's like a whipped cream almost. But homemade. <laughs> so we just had an awesome time at Karate Wale Gali, having street snacks, and now we're heading to the next location for more. You hungry? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Old Delhi is packed with specialties that would take a lifetime to explore, but you can surprisingly try a lot in one afternoon. We made our way to try a famous and renowned stuffed naan and northern Indian oh, restaurant in Chandni Chowk. Stuffed naan? Huge with rice? With rice? Up with rice? Naan after stuffed naan. And when they arrive on your table and you dip them into the curry, you're already salivating. Alright, so next up we're going to get some famous naan with dal. Oh, thank you. Very nice. Just look at this. This is insane. I have a specialty stuffed naan stuffed with potato and I'm paneer right now, I know. Over here, this is paneer tikka. Cut oh. it oh. 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 and Look at they got a Gloria. nice burn on that. Look at this. this is a you're going to see here. You're going to see a lot of food videos in India. Oh, look at all the butter on there. Oh. Okay, wow. this place is famous for stuffed naan. And just look at that. What's in there? Oh, that. Feels so soft and and garlicky and buttery. Is it garlic? Oh. It's just. And then I'm just gonna dip it into that, oh, that lentil dog. Amazing. Whoa, whoa. It reminds me of Nathan. Oh. Yeah. That is so so buttery and fragrant and powerful and heavy. It's actually quite spicy. No. Oh. It tastes like there's more things in it. That is, that is burning. It's quite, quite powerful. We're Seven going to Jama Masjid. That's expensive. We're going food ranging. Yes. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> he just goes through it. It's crazy. Driving like in so Calcutta. People. It's like go kart racing. So many. That's exactly smells. how it feels. Everybody, it's like light goes so and everybody's bad. jockeying and going. All the things to eat. It's the exact opposite of LA, where everybody's yeah, like, I'm in love with India. It is like go kart racing. Everybody, everybody back here, whether it's autos, whether here, it's cars, whether here, it's rickshaws, just it's just fight to get there first. I can't believe there's so little the honking homes. right now. Amazing. I just pictured the guy nice. in Kubali G9 with the mustache pulling him. All right, next up, we're gonna go get some beef kebabs. The smells, the action. A beef kebab? And the food. Beef. Oh. Egg beef kebab. Thank you. Oh. That looks amazing. 
My painting is getting covered in smoke. <laughs> as soon as you walk up, you can smell the spices oh. and the smoke on the grill for these famous beef kebabs. Locals here call them beef kebabs, but they're actually buffalo, as cow is- That's what I was wondering, I was like, beef? Oh, for me. Just look at these beef kebabs. Wow, looks like there's a lot of butter in there. Mint, I think there's mint chutney and masala and onions. Oh, it's just saturated. I would eat that. I would eat that. Oh. oh. Wow, oh, that is so buttery. Oh, it's spicy. I can taste the masala powder on there. That day. Give me more descriptions. Whoa, the butter and the masala powder mixed together perfectly. So it's like a buttery masala filled with flavor, spicy and powerful. Oh, the mint chutney in there too. Walking through the Jama Masjid area, you'll find a lot of Muslim specialties. You can feast here for days and days, but I came to try the famous 100 plus year old Karim's restaurant, specializing in Mughliai cuisine. But first, you gotta warm up with some chai tea. So one of the joys of India is having a chai on the street side. Oh, heck. Chai? Look at this frog. None of them don't care about him. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. There's nothing better than chai on the street That's in India. different. Put the froth right on top. That's this is very, this is very different. Are there different nice. ways to make chai? Like, like latte? Okay. So I've never Thank seen it much. made like that. Looks How like much? a latte. Yeah, I've never seen that. Rupees. And that's pricey for chai. Mm. I'm gonna punch you if you say 10 oh, cents is pricey for any. Oh, that is so creamy. <laughs> no, compared to like a regular like oh, street chai, it's like better. three, four rupees. Happiness in India. Now for the final killer historical meal. Cents. Oh, yeah, you're not going to it all, but Why are you charging Famous 10 rupees for chai? Famous 100 plus year old Mughliai restaurant specializing in kebab, <laughs> mutton korma, and a mutton. Oh. of other spicy and delicious Mice places. and lean. It's been a fantastic so day. Yeah, so Monday much food here in Old yes. Delhi. And now we're going to go for a Mughlai feast at Kareem to finish it all off. <laughs> going in for the years. Yep. 110 years old, I think. Holy cow. Oh. Oh, oh. Mutton stew. Oh. oh, that smells fantastic. So many curries. Mutton korma. Oh, yeah. Look at these. What's that? Mutton kima. Mutton kima. Wow. Wow. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, what do you, do you just put that? Like, and over here. Oh, good naan. And, look at yeah. all of this naan. Naan. It's either, it's my understanding oh, that it smells in North India, naan is more naan. prevalent. In Whereas in the really? other regions, it's rice. rice. Yeah, oh, rice. Oh. yeah, and and like in Bengal, it's rice. Butter chicken. No, oh, butter chicken. Curry. <laughs> curry. Oh, look at those peppers. Rain. Hi, yes, bring me more naan, please. Well, this is it. This is the meal I've been looking forward to for so long at Karim's. Just look at this Mughlai feast here. We have some butter chicken. Oh, that could probably be a couple people. Their homemade specialty naan bread. Just look at that. It's lightly covered in butter. And then this, can't believe I did it, but I'm gonna do it again. We're going for mutton brain curry. Oh, wow. This is a spicy mutton curry. And then this over here is pure milk. And it's made from milk and flour. Wow. With their specialty naan. Okay, but first thing we're gonna just have to go right in. This is the meal for curry and spice lovers in Delhi. Each bite you take that is what I don't chicken, like. And the spicy mutton curry eating. to the incredibly when executed the naan bread. Yeah, even the mutton grain meal. curry brings you closer and closer to a state of bliss. You can literally taste the history. I've had a few, I've had a few experiences with brain before. Some have been good. Some have been bad. <laughs> We're gonna see how it is. You ever had brain? Never had brain. Oh. I probably had it in a barbacoa, because barbacoa is probably, probably brain. That, know is it. The, yeah. that is the best brain I've ever had. It's much less stinky than My wife's is the best brain. It has I've a ever lot had. of beautiful nice, she's curry smart. flavor soaked into it, and it's creamy. But the, the texture is, is actually enjoyably creamy. It's not kind of overwhelmingly silky like other brains I've had. Mm. I've never had brain. Oh, that is amazing. That was the best brain I've ever had. 
Oh, also brain. So he has to give a huge thank you to Cully and Abhishek. They helped me find these wonderful That's all he told us about on that meal was the brain. food photographers here. You can check out their Instagram. You can assume the rest of it was delicious. Oh, I cannot wait to try all the food. I'm probably going to sign us up for some food tour of some sort. <laughs> well, because it's just a person who takes you around to the different places. Yeah. And uh, like also to make sure that we're not going to some random place that will get us sick. Yeah. They know the places that are like... Yeah, that was why Like, I, I didn't... For two reasons, I didn't have Penny Corey when I was in Calcutta. The first reason was wanting to save as many experiences when we yeah. go. And then secondarily, because of when I went in September... I got jacked up and it's usually from the water yeah. that you get something going on in your stomach because Indians have been living with it their whole life. So their systems are completely habilitated yeah. to it. And uh, it's usually something in the water that jacks you up. Like that happens here when people go to Mexico. Yeah. Um, and because panicori can be made with, uh, there's water that's used in it. And also, it's usually, like, it's usually um, cooked though. Yeah, but not always like boiled. Like that's why the chai is fine because the chai is like boiled and it's usually milk too. It's not water. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that was that was one of the reasons is mm -hmm. just being real, real careful. Wow. Uh, and you do you have to be careful with the street food because yeah. the the street food places don't have any rules. Yeah. To follow, like you know, there's no FDA saying you have to maintain cleanliness and you have to cover the wounds on your hands and you have to make sure that the pots you're using are clean. It is, there's, there's no rules like that no. in the street food places. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's a crap no. suit. But <laughs> all that food looked so good. So good. I can't wait to try all the naan. I'm yeah, going to go, go on a naan tour. Loving the naan. <laughs> Where's the best naan? I was astonished at um, the, the amount of rice that Indrani can eat because mm. that's just a staple of their food. I eat some rice. It tends to fill me up pretty quick. Well, it is part of Asia. And a Asia oh, yeah. Is, it, that's rice core, man. I mean, I mean, we have a, a, a Filipino friend, and they have rice for breakfast, yeah, lunch, yep, dinner. It's a staple. It's, it's just, it's what they eat. Yeah, I love rice. Yeah, I, but it's not, it's not a staple. I don't think of American food. I mean, not at all. It's usually a side. Yeah, it's a side dish. Yeah, you have a little side of it, and oftentimes we've we've Americanized <laughs> it and made it rice aroni. So oftentimes the rice is just a little side dish, or even if you go and you get Asian food, mm. typically like at a Chinese restaurant, if you went, or a Japanese restaurant, you're gonna get a little side of rice. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be considered a staple part of the meal. Oh, but a biryani, oh, and I'm so hungry right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to uh, make a bunch of food videos because I'm going to. <laughs> I am really, um, are you building up your heat endurance nope. at all? No, nope. it's going to be terrible. Okay. <laughs> but I am. Um, there were a couple of things I tasted, and I asked I asked Andrani one point. I said, "Okay, the heat level that we're eating with this stuff, this Bengali food, how is it comparatively to say some of the other regions like we're going to go to when we go on our trip?" And she said, "Oh, this would be moderate compared to mm -hmm. some of the things you're going to experience." And I remember looking at the camera and saying, "God bless you, Corbin Miles. <laughs> I really, yeah, you're going to be, you're going to be, you're going to be a champion." I'll try. You're going to be a champion uh, well, with I, this fork. I know that in, because in Jaipur, when we go to Jaipur, um, uh, we have a friend here who uh, is from Jaipur and his mother and father so then they've invited us over. Oh. And she wants to cook for us. Sweet. And so we're going to have, oh, a, that's awesome. we're gonna have a home cooked. Oh. And, and I'm sure every stupid baby in their family would also yes. offer us. We, we, we've been offered many I, times. Many, many times. And when I was, when I get constant invitations, please come. And if you come, well, we want you here. We'll cook you food. So please, thank you, everybody. Also, if we come to your house, uh, no spice. <laughs>